You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin on Friday. The Premier League will meet later today to confirm football will not return anytime soon, deciding whether or not to give a potential return date as there is no hope of meeting the current 30th of April deadline. The video conference will discuss ideas for starting next campaign, financial implications as well as player welfare. There is still a desire and belief from the league and UEFA to complete the season. Now, last night, following the Belgian division's decision to end their league and declare Club Bruges as champions, UEFA sent out a warning that if leagues do finish early, it could result in them forfeiting Champions League and Europa League places. This, along with the clear avoidance of null and voiding, uh, points to leagues being completed in late June or early July as UEFA plan. However, it is all, of course, virus permitting. Yesterday, Health Secretary Matt Hancock claimed Premier League footballers should take a pay cut and play their part during the pandemic. This comes after Tottenham, Bournemouth, Newcastle and Norwich have furloughed non-playing staff but not looked at players' wages despite being multi-million pound companies. Compiled with this, players from European giants including Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund have all seen their pay at least halved so other employees can continue to receive full salaries. Given the sacrifices that many people are making, including some of my colleagues in the NHS who've made the ultimate sacrifice of going into work and have caught the disease and have sadly died, I think the last thing, the, the first thing that Premier League footballers can do is make a contribution, take a pay cut and play their part. And Neymar has become the latest player to donate in the fight against coronavirus. The Brazilian donated $5 million to his homeland without doing it publicly. Thank you for watching this lunchtime and remember if you'd like to see other bulletins you can do so on all of our social media channels and don't forget the football show is on tonight at 4 o'clock.